guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I have been um, cleaning my art room. I know I'm perpetually, I don't even know if that's the right word, cleaning my art room, but I've been going through things that I have a lot of, and I have a lot of scrapbook paper. I have it in tablets. I have it in individuals. Every time I go, I pick up more, you know, scrapbook paper. And then I get home and I already have six of those and, you know, all that kind of thing. So I was sitting and I'm going through and I'm putting them in tubs and this and that and, you know, kind of going to put them in a, mark them and put them in, you know, the Rubbermaid containers and stack them so I have more room and more organization and la, 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 la. But I came across uh, individual sheets of paper. Some I've ripped and used, some I've not. And I want to make it into paper that I will use. Now, a lot of scrapbooks uh, themselves that come in the big tablets have two, three, sometimes four of the same paper and I don't find myself using all four of them all the time and um so I thought well I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use this as a mixed media sheet so then it got me thinking on you know a lot of us out there who don't have a lot of money who don't have a lot of supplies um maybe in an, a random act of kindness maybe you bought it maybe somebody gave it to you what have you you might have some papers and in those papers you might not dig some of those papers which for me happens quite a bit um when i get tablets there's always a few that i don't necessarily love now something like this is one of them it's a beautiful piece of paper and i can definitely um you know, tear it up and use it in mixed media, but I have like four sheets of this. And so I thought, well, how can I make it into something that I'm going to use? Now, this is a double sided paper, um, which really doesn't matter, you know, what side you do this to. Uh, I, I think I'm going to do it to this one because it has more color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take um, a, I should have, I should have got my stuff out before I started. I'm going to take a stencil brush. Here it is. Yeah, I know I have a big one from Folk Art. Yes, this big bad boy. And what I'm going to do, and this, let me read this to you. It is the Plaid Premium Stencil One Inch Brush. And you can see that's what it's like. And I just have some white acrylic paint sitting here because I was using it for something else. You can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to stencil some of this white in random patterns and you can use a makeup brush. You can use a regular brush. You can use paper towel. You can use toilet paper. You can use a Kleenex. You can use whatever you want, whatever you want to do to get the paint on. Um, and like I said, I'm using white right now, but again, Whatever color you have, if you have a lot of color sitting, maybe you're doing an art journal or a painting and you have a lot of color sitting there, um, maybe you want to use that instead as your first. Your first layer, kind of saying, you know what I'm saying? And you can see I can brush, I can really scrape the rest of that white up and kind of brush it if I want. And it'll just push that uh, back, you know what I mean? You can see like the difference. Um, maybe right here where it's so bright here it's going back a little bit more and i can you know do my thing i love makeup brushes a lot because um not makeup brushes makeup sponges rather because they're very cheap and you get them at the dollar store and you get a lot you can even rinse them out um and use them you know for a few times without having to uh get new and that's what i like because i like to be cheap because I am cheap because I don't have a lot of money. And if I waste stuff or I don't use it, I am a hoarder. I admit, I finally admitted this year that I am a hoarder. I'm a hoarder of cardboard boxes. I'm a hoarder of bubble wrap. I'm a hoarder of <laughs> plastic takeout containers. I'm a hoarder of art supplies. I'm a hoarder of many, many things, paper. I'm a hoarder because, um, which maybe a lot of you can relate to this, uh, back in the day, when I was first married and working and, you know, after my first uh, kid was born, uh, I started doing a lot of arts and crafts, you know, because I was home a lot and we had money uh, and we had money because as the kids got a little bit older, I started working. And so I could afford 
a lot of things between Dave working. He was an electrician at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, so between him working, and you can see I'm just kind of putting it around, not going to worry about it. Um, I had money, so I could go out and buy a lot of things. Um, then illness hit. And when illness hit, Emily was about two, three years old. And my illnesses hit, one of them anyway. And I had to quit work. And it was heartbreaking because I lost that income and, um, being sick and all that kind of stuff and our bills just, you know, piling up and all that kind of stuff. Um, I began hoarding things, <laughs> my art supplies. Um, and then of course, as life does, we, Dave, uh, still electrician, um, you know, we, we kind of got on our feet again and that's when I was able to buy like more golden and Liquitex and that kind of thing, um, which I have sitting around here that I have to finish, which is going bad. Um, and then, you know, again, it dips again and that's where I'm at now. And money's really, really tight. And, um, Dave had to quit his electrician. He had to resign after 15 years because his back and, and he's a writer and, you know, money is up and down and my SSI is nothing. And, blah, 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 blah. Right. We all have our stories. And, uh, so now I kind of hoard things because I don't want to be without it, even though I wouldn't be, but, um, because I have so much, but I just, you know, so I really have to start using these things, you know? Um, and I know a lot of us get like that when you don't have a lot of money, you know, you don't want to use all your sprays or paints, you know, and I love, you know, I'm a mixed media artist by, uh, nature because I'm messy and <clears throat> you know, I use a million different products for a million different things. So anyway, that's kind of, you know, it's kind of where I'm at on that, but, um, you know, I, I need to start using them. I need to start using them either that or my husband's going to kick me out because it's taken up all my living space. Uh, cause that's all I do. And now being as sick as I've been lately, I've been, um, I'm going to use some, um, dolphin from folk art and it's like a blue gray and, um, being in, you know, being sick and, and being upstairs and then having down here, you know, a lot of the stuff <laughs> gets moved upstairs, moved downstairs. There's no rhyme or reason to my life. I like it everywhere. So then therefore I want, you know, a couple of the same thing so I can have it upstairs and downstairs. Oh, so I'm getting on everybody's nerves. So I must, um, now I'm just going to take a regular paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in that color and I'm just going to paint it. Now this has a bit gloss to it, the, uh, paper itself, but I don't care. I'm just going to use it to, uh, my advantage where it will make some places transparent and some not so transparent. But yeah, so, you know, being sick and on disability where you get hardly anything a month stinks. But it's not the end of the world. And, uh, you know, you do what you can and you live. And I'm very lucky. I do have art supplies that I can play with and I need to start playing with them. I have all kinds of stuff that I get requests to do. And I, you know, sometimes I just don't, I don't uh, do it. Like all the silks and all that kind of stuff. I have all those. And I just don't do them. You know what I think I'm going to do is a little bit of, let me do a little bit magenta. And then maybe a little bit, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just plopping. You see, I'm not even worrying. I'm just kind of painting. And we're just making a mixed media paper. Doesn't matter what, you know, what you're going over or what it looks like right now. Because we're going to play. And then this, I can, you know, you're making a paper that maybe will come from your um, craft store, right? That you would maybe cut up. Maybe you would have it in your, turn it this way. Maybe you would have it in your um, paper pad that you have. Maybe you would use it in an art journal. I don't care that some of the, uh, it's coming through because, you know. That's fine. I'm just kind of going over everything. And you can see I'm just piling. So if you have a piece of um, 
you know, maybe you don't have like a nonstick surface. Maybe you have uh, some brown paper down, right? Some brown paper bag. Go to your uh, grocery store and get, you know, a couple brown paper bags. Come home, rip them apart, tape them down. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my towel real quick and just kind of wipe some of this up so I can put other colors down and they don't necessarily, I don't necessarily want them to mix. And while I'm doing that, it's giving this a second to dry, which I'm probably going to hit it with the heat gun because I don't want too much of the colors to mix. I want them to kind of be, you know, I don't have to have it fully dry, but I want it somewhat dry. But yeah, so you can get a brown uh, brown paper bag to from the part glue them on your table or your desk, even if you're working on your kitchen table or dining room table or tray or whatever. Um, and then all that delicious paint that goes around that gets on everything, you'll be making, you know, you'll have your own little paper back there. Or have a piece of paper sitting by and, and put it on that. Right now, I'm kind of boxed in because I'm in the middle of cleaning and throwing away and boxing stuff. So I'm kind of, I don't have too much room for the extra paper, but. Okay. And that's all. I'm not going to worry, you know, too, too much. Um, I think I'm going to do a, do a darker, a blue. Let's do, let's do some orange. I might, I'm not liking that too much. That blue that went on there. I just think it's not going to be as poppy as I want it to be. And I'll show you. I'm just going to do, I'm squirting right on there. Cause you know what? That's how I'm rolling. And look, I'm just doing brush strokes. Look, no big deal. And you can see when you dry it in between, you're going to get, I'm going to do it right here. It's going to go over the colors or you're not going to mix. So if I would have done the, uh, this over the magenta and it was still wet, I have a, you know, possibility that that will go brown and not that brown's a bad thing, but it's not necessarily what I want going on here. So you could see I'm just kind of brush stroking. Now here's, you know, here's where the fun starts, right? You do this. If you want to put crackle, let's do a crackle. Um, if you want to do, you know what I mean? If you want, not want a lot of this white, <clears throat> because I might push back some of these colors, put some more color on there. What color? Um, I think a yellow. I think that's the colors I'm going, I'm going bright today. I think I'm going to do yellow and green. And this is just yellow light and I'm shaking it. And I'm going to just put it there. And then I think for the last color I'm going to use, I just saw it where to go. Um, oh, maybe both these. Maybe I'm going to use, you know, I'm trying to use all my, uh, this is Lime, Lindina Wakely. I'm trying to use all my uh, Dina Wakely tubes, like all the paint, because it just sits here. I also have Dilution Spray I want to use. I have a lot of things, so, um, that I just want to use. Because I put them aside, because I don't want to use them, because I love them. And I'm like, nope. Not this year, baby. My year, my word this year is breathe. And, you know, I'm just going to be a different person. Not a different person, but, you know, try to try to use things up and not be a hoarder. I guess, I don't know. I say that now. Next week, I'll be like, nope, not using it anymore. You're going to be like, where's her, her uh, heavy body acrylic paint from Dina Wakely? Where's her this? Where's her that? It's all going to be back on my shelf and I'm going to be staring at it, but not using it. <laughs> all right. And I'm drying it again because I just don't want it to necessarily mix, you know, all the, uh, the whole way. So I'm washing my brush off in my water and then I'm just tapping it off onto a paper towel or I have this old, you know, towel that I just use. I'm going to go in with the yellow and. Just drag it. I'm holding it up here and I'm dragging it through. I'm going to drag it this way. And it's just adding some texture, right? And you could see here my orange was a little wet still. I don't care. That'll mix, but um, it's not going to, you know, I'm not going to go back and forth on it. You know what I'm saying? Like here. Now, maybe I want this part right here more yellow. So then I can just kind of do this and look how that look goes. Now, here's, here's a, a good tip, too. 
if you have, let's say you have uh, red and yellow, okay? Oh, I have red and yellow out. Well, you know what? I'm not going to need orange. So what I will do is I'll do my yellows, I'll do my reds, and then I will um, mix in the middle. So then you have the red and then it makes the orange and then the yellow. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's being smart. That's not going to turn into mud. That's going to turn into your primary colors of another color, um, red and blue. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So yellow and blue make green. So you can really have very few uh, colors of your primaries and then make all kinds of cool colors. Um, and if you want to see that, let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely um, do a video on that just to show because I'm a visual learner. So to me, I have to sometimes see, you know what I mean? Like see somebody do it to understand it, but you can have very few colors and, and get really good bang for your buck. I always say primaries, Roy G. Boo, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then you're black and white and you're done. You can go to your craft store. They always have great sales, sometimes on acrylic paint store brands, two for a dollar, folk art goes on sale, ceram coat, um, all of them. Uh, what's the other one? Deco art. And you can, um, you know, just buy your basics and really get good bang. Now, do you see how that yellow really brought this like, woo, right? So I'm going to just tap off whatever I have left here. As you can see, I'm scraping. And I'm just tapping it. And once you tap it, have fun. Take it and, and drag it. Drag it just to blur it a little bit. I mean, it's a lot of, you know. Now I'm going to rinse my brush. Now I'm doing this real, uh, real time because uh, sometimes I will put up videos that I do voiceovers. And a lot of times you guys don't like those because you like me doing real time. But sometimes I like to forward it because, you know, it's not going to be 3 million hours to watch. Um, but this one I'm just going to do real time and put it out there. So now I'm going in with my green. Now here, let me grab this. Here's where you can play and do different things. So I have this and I will use, I'll just use this green on here and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to push this down and I'm just tapping because now I'm going to add some texture and it doesn't have to be all in a row. Let me see if you guys can see that a little bit. I don't know. These might be too small for me to use, but it doesn't matter. It's still getting the color on there. Let me do right here. It's a little better. Okay. So I'll put this aside for a second and then we'll put, let's do, we'll just do one of these and I'll put it here. Maybe we'll get a better. And I'm just going to use my paintbrush because I'm not worrying how uh, good it's going to work. Like, you know what I mean? Like how clean it's going to look because it's going to be a background paper. Maybe you want to make a, a card, a greeting card. Maybe you're into that. Maybe, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you want. A theme. It doesn't matter. Do you, boo, do you. Okay. And look. See, it's just, you know, I'm putting it over the white. Now, if I don't want that over the white and I'm thinking it's too light, I could take it off. But I'll tell you, we need something down here. So I'm going to do it, just this one. And I'm going to scrape up the rest of my green and I'm going to pull out in there. Oh, that's what she said. Okay. Okay. And look. So you see, you get these, like... Uh, marks around. Now I'm not digging here because I like it here, this piece right here, but not necessarily in this white. So what I'm going to do is clean my brush off of the green. Okay. And kind of just do like that. Maybe not put the uh, thing that fell, <laughs> the bristle that fell off my paintbrush. I'm going to clean it, my brush. I'm going to dry it. And then I think what I'm going to do, and like I said, you could do these all over for now. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my brush again, just like that. I'm going to kind of hold it down and then I'm just going to tap again, not worrying how uh, transparent or uh, 
can't think of the word I want to say right now. I don't care whether you can see it real well or not. I can't think of the word. Opaque. And then, um, there we go. I don't care about that because I want some of the color to come through. And then look. Right here we need something. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this over the other way. Set it down. I'm going to take my rag or roller, brayer, whatever you got. And I'm just going to push it and push it real good. And then I'm going to lift it up. Let's see what we got. If I can lift it up. Oh, yeah. So you got the negative and the positive. See that? So you got two for, uh, you know, two for one. Two for one. And I think, I think I'm going to do a blue in here. And maybe... Maybe use this one. Oh my God, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog snoring because he's snoring. I mean, he's snoring like me on a heavy medication night, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, now I'm just botting this in, dotting it in, lifting it up. And see? So you can see we got all this great stuff. Now, something that I really do dig is I love dry brush. So what I'm going to do and what you do as well is look at uh, what you have, right? And like I said, just see how I'm just dry brushing it. You can hear it. And I will show you now, you know, some things are still wet. Maybe you want this to be dry brushed there a little bit. So you see it, but you don't. And just decide If you're okay with what you got going on, I am. So let me show you what we did. Look at that. So we have this beautiful mixed media paper that can be used as a mixed media background, right? Look at that. Or use it, let it dry, rip it up, use it as a background. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have papers on sale. I've made a ton of these. I have them on sale. If you're interested um, in any of them, I'm going to be putting new ones up. But honestly, uh, this is so much fun to me because I just love doing it. And I can go on and keep layering and layering. But this is a piece of paper that I didn't dig that I was going to throw away. And now I made it into a piece of uh, mixed media paper and I'll let it dry and I will take out, I have more paper. I have this one that I want to do next. Be careful. And, um, so yeah, so I'll be doing this one next. Uh, I might do it and then just do it as a speed through with music. I don't know, but yeah, so I have one page and I have two and then I'm just going to pile them up and then bring them, bring them on and use them, uh, as I want. And, you know, something else that you can do, I have, um, I mean, you can use white, where is mine? You can use white marker, white uh, pen. I know I have my white gel pen somewhere, but, or any color gel pen for that matter. But I don't know what I did with my other white. Probably upstairs. Okay. But you could go on these now and like on the, you know, the dry part, you can pretend like you're writing, right? Or you can just, you know, you want to draw or uh, outline or highlight. You can do anything that you want and just make it go like, you know. And you can use white paint as well. You don't have to, you know, if you don't have a gel pen. So you just go and you just add that. Because when you rip it up or you, you know, use it as a background or whatever, that's all great stuff. Uh, and it's just, you know, texture. So you can just pretend like you're writing. You can write quotes. You can do all kinds of stuff. So just make sure you wipe your, uh, this is a uniball. Or is this a uniball? I don't know what the heck it is. It's in Japanese. The heck are you? I think it's a uniball. Sigma. And, uh, you know, so you just do that. There's my other one. You just do that. And then, you know, you rip it up or you do whatever and you have deliciousness. Deliciousness. Okay. So. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you guys do anything like this and please tag me uh, or email it to me. All my info is down below. And um, yeah, so I think, like I said, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it in darker colors and I'm just going to 
probably put it up in, um, you know, in, in fast time. Uh, maybe talk over it, maybe uh, music. I can't decide yet. I love you guys. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.